Howdy Huskies, this is Mr. Naughton. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the Angle Edition Postulate Part 1 today. And that looks very sig similar to the Segment Edition Postulate. So just to review that really quickly, so if we draw an A, a B, and a C here, we would say that AB and then plus BC is going to be the whole thing, which is going to be AC. Okay, so the pieces make the whole. Okay, so the sum of the pieces equals the whole. And that's the exact same thing we're going to talk about the angle addition postulate here. Is it the interior or the sum of the interior angles equals the larger angle? So the sum of the interior ones make the bigger ones. So ladies and gentlemen, this would be a, our first smaller one. So remember we put an M in front and then we're gonna say the measure of angle A, or sorry, B, A, C. And then our next one will be this one right here. So plus the measure of angle C, A, D. Remember we put the M in front because we're talking about a measurement. It's gonna be the whole big one here that we have in red. So that's gonna be the measure of angle bad to the bone. So we just have two pieces here, but they could be three pieces, they could be four pieces. Um, it really could almost as many as you have there, okay? So the idea is that you can add the interior angles together and you get the bigger one. So congruent angles are gonna be angles with the same measure or we could say number of degrees. So the same measure or the same number of degrees, okay? So as we can see right here, if these both angles have 51 degrees, we'll just pick an arbitrary number, then I would say that those two angles are congruent. So we would give them little arcs. So these arcs right there are going to mean congruence. Remember that's a little congruent symbol right there. Um, you could have two arcs here, so notice I'm going to put two arcs, so I'm saying those are the same. You could have three arcs. Sometimes you'll see them even. I apologize, I didn't mean to write, erase the 51, but we'll, we'll work with it. Sometimes you'll see it with arcs and then little tick marks like this. It's the same thing. It means congruence. So congruence, remember, is going to be our congruence sign like that, and then equals is our same equal measure. Okay, so when are we talking about congruence? That means when we're using the angles in general or in a proof, okay? And there's no numbers usually present, okay? When are we gonna use the equal sign? And that's when we're gonna go ahead and add them or we're including numbers. So one of the things that, and that's the reason for this caution sign is, is if there's congruence like what we see right here, you're, there's no M that you put in front. But if we're using the equals, then we have to include the M. So we just wanna make sure we're all on the same page. So just to make sure we're good with congruence, let's take a look. So it says, are the following angles congruent? That's what it says right here. So notice we have both that are 41 degrees. So because they have the same measurement, we would say yes. I'm gonna say that angle A, B, C is congruent to angle D, E, F. Or if we write it in our measure form, I would say the measure of angle A, B, C is equal to the measure of angle D, E, F. And since I know what that number is, I'll just write that they're both 41 degrees. So you can write it either way. Um, generally, we do the top one that we have there in blue, but it could be either way. So in example number two, you do not have any numbers, but you do have those little arcs. Remember those arcs mean congruent. So I'm gonna write that down. Mean congruent. And so since those arcs mean congruent, I'm gonna say that angle W is congruent to angle X. And it's okay to write it that way because we can just use the vertices, okay? Because there's no other angles that we can conf confuse them. So ladies and gentlemen, we have an A here, so that means we want you to try it. So hit pause on the video and then come back and see how you did. 
welcome back. So in this case, uh, I like to think of this as there's not enough info. And the reason why I say it's not enough information rather than a no is that it looks like it. Like three that I can see right here and four, they definitely look like they could be the same. I just don't have any information, okay? There's no arcs. We need those arcs to help us out. And there's no numbers. And there's no vocabulary that would tell us like we're going to suddenly or we'll get soon use the word bisectors. So if we don't have any of that information, we just have to say that there's not enough information. Um, if you put no, I don't think anybody's going to mark you wrong, but not enough information is probably the best. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our angle addition postulate. So now I have angle BAD, which is this big one. So it could be this blue one. I'm going to highlight it here in blue plus this green one here. I'll highlight that in green. So the blue angle is the measure of angle BAC. Then the green angle is CAD. And that's equal to the big one here. I'm going to do that here in orange. The measure of angle BAD. And notice that I use my M's in this example. And the reason is, is that we are going to be talking about numbers in addition. So we want to make sure we use our M's. Good notation there. So it says that CAD, right here it says CAD is 72. So I'll go ahead and put my 72 degrees right there. And I'll put my 72 degrees right there. And then it says that BAC right there it says BAC is 63 degrees. So 63 degrees right there. So this is 63 degrees. And we are adding those together because we want to know what BAD is. So I'm, I like putting an X when I'm looking for something because we're always solving for X. So that kind of makes it easier. So when I add those together, I'm going to get X is equal to 135. And that is my answer as long as I did my math correctly, which hopefully I did. I should probably have a calculator out. Make sure we did that one correctly here. We'll do that calculator off to the side. So 63 plus 72. Yep, 135. All righty. So next one, I, I like to really color code these. So if you don't need to, then don't, but I'm a fan. So in this case, I'm going to say the measure of angle one, which we have there in blue, right there. Now remember, the one does not mean the number of degrees. It's saying that's what that angle is. Plus the measure of angle two, which is this one right here. If you want to use the other notation, you can. And then lastly, it's going to equal the big one, which is the measure of angle X, Y, Z. I can't say just Y because there's a lot of angles there. So let's label. So it says angle one is 22 degrees. So 22 degrees. And then it says that angle X, Y, Z there. Let's circle that in the right color here. That's going to be 86. So I like to do this. I just say from here to here is 86 degrees. And I'll put my 86 over here because that's what it actually is. And then that's gonna equal, or what we're gonna be looking for is two. So once again, I'm gonna put an X there and do a plus sign because it's always the angle addition. There is no such thing as the angle subtraction property. That's just your fun fact of the day. But 22 plus X is equal to 86. So then we're gonna go ahead and subtract 22 from both sides. And we're going to get X is equal to 64 degrees. And that is my answer. The measure of angle two is 64 degrees. Now, a good way to check is to go back and say, hey, if 64 plus 22, that better be 86. And it is. So that means that 64 is our answer. All righty. So as we mentioned at the beginning, we could say, hey, you can have three parts. I can have this blue piece. I can have this purple piece right here. And then I can have this pink piece right here. That's totally cool. Okay. And we just know that the big ABC, the measure of ABC, is going to be the sum or adding up of all those. So the first one we'll do is ABC, sorry, ABE. And I'm just going to write a 40 right under that because it tells me right here. Then the next one will do the middle one in purple. So the measure of angle EBD, and that one we say is 4X. And then we have this one right here. Now, I'm a little concerned because I don't have that, but let's write it down now just for a second. So the measure of angle 
uh, D, B, C. So what goes there? Well, if we look at our original diagram, I have an arc here and an arc here. Remember arcs, as we talked about at the beginning, those arcs mean congruent. So that means they're the same measure. So arcs mean they're congruent, so they're the same value or number of degrees. So because I have a 40 right up here, I'm gonna say that this is 40 as well. So I got my four X and then now I know I need to put in my 40 right there. And it says that ABC is 120. Alrighty, let's combine some like terms. So these are on the same side. So because they're on the same side of the equal sign, I can just combine those together. So I'm gonna get four X plus 80 is equal to 120. Now I'm gonna solve for X. So I'm gonna subtract 80 doing the opposite there. And so we're going to get 40 is equal to 4x. And then again, I just want just x. So we'll divide both sides by 4. And then we get x is equal to 10. So what's important is we read our directions. So we found x, which is great, but our directions up here say find c, b, d, and c, b, e. So let's plug that in and find out what our answer is supposed to be. So c, b, d, c, b, d is actually this one right here. Oh, good news, we already found that that's 40. So we'll go ahead and we'll write our answer. The measure of angle C, B, D was 40 degrees. And the reason why we knew that was the congruent sign tells us that arc sign helped us out. And then the other one is gonna be C, B, E. So C, B, E, get a different color here. C, B, E is actually these two right there. So the measure of angle C, B, E is gonna be the pink arc, which was C, B, D, plus the purple one. Again, this is why I like all the colors. E, B, D, when we add those together, I get 40. Oh, I didn't mean to change my color there. So 40, and then four X. Well, we know what X is now, X is 10. So I'm gonna take that 10 and plug it in right there. And so I'm gonna get 40 plus 40, which is 80. So we had two things we needed to find. I found this one right here, and then I found my 80 for CBD. So now we're good to go, okay? Again, you can see how color coding is super helpful. Holy cannoli, look at this next one. Here, this has got a three-parter as well. So I'm gonna help you give you a helpful hint that we might have forgotten. This right here is going to be 90 degrees. Cool. So go ahead and give this a shot and then come on back and see how you did. It is a D, so I want you to try it. Okay, so we are looking for, in this case, M, Q, N. Let's give that a different color here. So I'm going to put an X right there. You with me? So M, Q, N, that's my X. Well, I'm also looking for N. Uh, QP, as we can see right there. Well, because of this little arc, I'll go and highlight that here in purple, those are gonna be the same, so that's X2. So if I can find out what X is, I'm set to go. All right, this little fun fact says that MQR, that whole thing, is gonna be 180. We're gonna talk more about that in other videos to come, but we'll just go ahead and set this up for now. So this green one plus this blue one, plus the pink one here is gonna give me the whole kit and caboodle. So the green is gonna be the measure of angle M, Q, N, which is X. Now, some of you are gonna be asking, hey, do I have to write this out every single time? It's really good practice, but you technically don't have to. So N, Q, P is gonna be another X. And then the last one's gonna be the measure of angle P, Q, R, which is 90. And that's equals to 180 because it tells me right there. So these two X's, they're on the same side. So 1X plus 1X is going to go ahead and give me 2X plus 90 is equal to 180. So minus 90, minus 90, and I'm going to get 90 is equal to 2X. And then we'll divide both sides by 2, and I'm going to get X is equal to 45. And that is gonna be equal to our answers since we put an X there 
and an X there because they were congruent and we were looking for the same thing. All righty. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are on, or sorry, I would say you're on number five, but it's, it's not a letter, so we're gonna do this together. But what I am missing is a picture. So the first thing you wanna do is draw that picture. So it says D is in the interior of ABC. So if I just draw an angle ABC, any angle will do ABC, then D has to be somewhere inside. And it doesn't matter where, but then what's gonna happen is, is that's gonna make a new ray right there, and now we have a couple of different angles. And that's kind of the key aspect for this. So C, B, sorry, C, A, D is three Y plus six. That's this blue one here. And then it says D, B, C. So DBC is going to be this purple one right in here. So I'll write um, 4Y plus 2. And it says the whole thing ABC is 78. So just like we did previously, I'll go from here to here is 78 degrees. All righty. So we know that the blue angle plus the purple angle give me the big angle. So the blue angle is 3Y plus 6. That's that first blue angle. And then we'll add it to the purple angle, which is gonna be four Y plus two. And that will equal the big kit and Cahoodle here, the big angle, 78. I don't even know what kit and caboodle is, but I just said it right there. So let's set this up so we can see this a little bit better. Three Y plus six, four Y plus two is 78. We're gonna put these y's together because they're on the same side and they're like terms. So that's gonna be seven y. And then we're gonna put the six and the two together because those are like terms and on the same side. So plus eight is equal to 78. So minus eight, minus eight to solve for y. And then we get seven y is equal to 70. And then we'll divide both sides by seven. And I'm gonna get y is equal to 10. So one of the things it was looking for, if we look at our directions here, it says, hey, find Y. We found Y, so boom, let's circle that answer. But next it's looking for A, B, D. So A, B, D is that blue angle. So I'm gonna plug this back in here. So the measure of angle A, B, D is three Y plus six. Well, Y is 10. So three times 10 plus six is gonna be 30 plus six or 36. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, hit pause one more time and try this next one, okay? And then we'll go from there. All righty, kind of missing our key starts, but we can kind of look at this. We're looking for EFG, okay? So if we go ahead and we make an EFG, EF, G, then we're gonna go ahead and say, all right, we have an E, F, H. Well, H is right here. So E, F, H, we need an H right there. So that's gonna give me 35 degrees. And then I have an H, F, G, H, F, G. Here's 40 degrees, okay? And we're looking for E, F, G, which is this whole big kit and caboodle here. And so I'm gonna put an X there. So the 35, plus the 40 is equal to X. So X is gonna be 45 degrees. All right, my friends, that's it for this video. If you need to see another one, go for it. If not, we'll see you next time. Take care, my friends.